Good morning, geeks and gamers. Oh, you look at that panel. There's a lot of surprises. What's the biggest surprise on the panel? I don't know, but mm. we are here for Geeks and Gamers Daily. And, uh, you know, I liked Vera Dark so much, we brought her back again. Look at that. Hi, Aww. Vera Dark. How are you? Hi, I'm good. Thank you for having me back on. And she's already cussed out Jay. Uh, she's already been yelling at Jay <laughs> yeah. uh, before That's we me. got started. So classic <laughs> third, woman move. Third day in a row on daily. And another That's popular a... YouTuber who had no idea who the fuck I was. So <laughs> add that, chalk that up to the list of people who consider me the new guy. So whatever. <laughs> What's up, Drunk Three VO? Hey, rocking the. Uh... Project Egg Roll. They took my phrase. Look at that. It made it into a shirt. It says they're Asian and they have a podcast. They put that on a shirt. I was like, you better send me a free one since that's what I said for a whole year. So, it's so, so good. They sent me one. Oh, oh man. Shout out, Phil. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Nah, dude. Like the fact that every time you would talk about it, you're like, they're Asian <laughs> and they have a podcast. We're like, Asians can do podcasts. I know, Jay. I don't like, know why it was. The yeah, but their thing, name yeah. is Project Egg Roll, and they're Asian and they have a podcast. It was just, it just came out at a time where everybody was oversensitive about stuff. Yeah, I hear you. They're so, good guys. That's they're why guys, I thought dude. it was pretty funny that they just rolled with it. So. Absolutely. Um, we got uh, who is this? The new guy, Fear the Beardo. What's your name this week? I don't even know. Uh, hater of John Morrow. <laughs> I that still don't really understand this uh, this situation. You know what? We we need to have John Mar Morrow yeah. on. And so, I don't know, Vera, were you watching last night when this whole John Morrow thing happened? I was not. Okay, so I, I just learned about it last night. So apparently there's this guy in the wheelchair that's uh, disabled and uh, Beardo doesn't like him because this guy said he went on 200 dates in 200 days. And, Damn. And this, this man, this individual who can't wipe his own ass, he was proposed to twice, turned him down. Uh, now he's now he's with the love of his life who would uh, – she is so good looking that she would make uh, Mr. Um, Hugh Hefner jealous. Because Sounds like you're a little so salty. Yeah. No, he's just a fucking liar. <laughs> <laughs> he's I'll a like, scumbag. John Morrow sounds like a really good guy. Sounds like a good guy. Yeah, Sounds like he's, Satan, he could probably read Super Chats for Satan, Geeky Satan, Gamers. Okay? Satan thinks John Morrow's so, fantastic. Yeah, so this is a... Uh, I'm John Morrow to replace Fear the Beardo. I'm going to put a poll in the chat and we'll see what everybody says. What do you think about that? Go for it. I, I dare them. <laughs> you seem so mad. I'm not yes. mad, man. I'm not mad. Why I'm not going to lose any sleep over John fucking Morrow. That's what I know. That's Are you bitch. sure? You talked about him last night during main event, and then the first Angry. thing you talk about today was him. He's on the mind. He's living rent-free, man. Let, yeah. let him go, man. Kick him out. Evict him. I, I, dude, I want someone to open the door for John Morrow. <laughs> Permanently. Oh, man. John's a good guy. Vic, that guy. No, yeah, I like John. I like He's John. So shut out. human being. Oh, my God. Shout out to John Morrow. Uh, Beardo's Ricada, Ricada size shoulders. We keep getting smaller. Mm -hmm. John Morrow, is that your burner, you son of a bitch? <laughs> 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 oh, man. Uh, let's see. We've got a man of many mince pronunciations. Good morning, peeps. Now I have Beardo saying Endymion. 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 <laughs> Endymion. That avatar, man. It's like Endymion. the face of intensity. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. a good one. It's, it's disgust. It is. The, the face of disgust. <laughs> it's a face of disgust. Correct that was me. the first time I found out who John Morrow was right there. <laughs> <laughs> captured in real time. Correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, what uh, didn't that account, didn't this account also say uh, that uh, it had me as a, profile picture for a while because of my mince pronunciations which however you spell that one how how do you actually say the word he's got spelled out there beardo mispronunciations mispronunciations <laughs> there we yeah. go good job good job uh let's see sue i gotta be worried, careful of that word uh, uh -oh. suicidal cynic says uh, call me pessimistic but i don't think the media is on our side guys uh trying to uh, control the people with BS scare tactics and all, but what do I know, right? Well, I mean, yeah, obviously the media is not on our side, and uh, but we are the media. It's it's that yeah. meme, you know. It's the we are the media now, um, and yeah. we're seeing that across the board. And I think the first thing I want to talk about is, and it's something that 
you know, Vera Dark uh, knows about, and that is Stellar Blade because uh, Stellar Blade, excited. Stellar Blade apparently is a conservative. Yeah. It was a, it's a conservative video game, everyone. Um, and this, oh gosh, this, this tweet, <laughs> it's got 1.8 million views, and, and it ain't positive. Oh, it ain't positive. No. Uh, it's got more bookmarks than like, or right at as many bookmarks as likes. Um, it has been ratioed. Um, and imagine that. Bastion. This is insane. Oh, um, hang on, let me back that up real quick. So this this take is insane. Um, to say that Stellar Blade is like, uh, what what do you think? Marco fucking Rubio is sitting around playing yeah. Stellar Blade <laughs> or right. Ted Cruz? Right. Uh, you know, you the think Trump that, brothers, man. Yeah, they're out there you know, playing like, this, this game. is such a nonsensical take. Um, oh, yeah. So first, we're going to listen to this. I want to get Vera Dark's thoughts on this because she's obviously played the game. Uh, she played the demo. And many others have played it. And everybody's talking about it. Everybody's hyped. So let's listen to this uh, nonsensical take really quick. The Bastion of conservative gaming the bastion of keeping the wokes mad is stellar blade right now stellar blade is the game of the game of the year because there's a shiny titty and a, and a almost a medium ass it's not even a great <laughs> ass it's a medium ass it's not even that it big. is a medium ass the bastion oh my wait, wait we have these two oh. people grading what a nice butt looks like yeah uh, the only, like the only buns that guy seen is a giant loaf of bread that he probably <sighs> eats every day. Number one. <laughs> True. <laughs> so Holy okay. Crap, dude. Uh Vera, you played the Stellar Blade demo. What I did. did I played it and I thoroughly enjoyed it. So this is a game that I've been pretty excited for for like years at this point, because this is a game that's been delayed twice and they were pretty major delays, um, but the gameplay itself was really awesome. There was nothing in it that, you know, pointed to there being any sort of narratives. And of course, when it comes to, you know, South Korean um, entertainment recently coming out, games like this, like Vindictus Defying Fate, that has not been a trend. And it's good to see that happening. But Stellar Blade itself is more than just its characters. It is... It ran very smoothly. The boss fights were awesome. And I know some people were a little disappointed. It was a little bit less of like a Bayonetta and more of a Souls-esque game. But there were no politics in the game. And that is something that the developers have talked about multiple times is that they just want to create attractive characters because people want to see beautiful characters. And that in these lunatics' minds equals, of course, that it's it's a side, right? That it's very them versus us and that's why it's being labeled a conservative game simply because we are praising it for you know the female form being present and it, besides even just the female form because they're trying to boil it down to it just being oh there's hot characters in the game it's so much more than that and they cannot fathom the idea that people are supporting games like Cellar Blade and not games like Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League and Flintlock the Siege of Dawn. Yeah, absolutely. What I think yeah. is, go ahead. They, we've seen this in gaming is that they are trying to make women look like a board with no the curves. They're, they're trying very hard to push the androgynous look. Yeah, and so as if it doesn't have that look, they're going to criticize it and say it's ugly because mm -hmm. that's what that's well, what they right think. in Western media right now. It. it it's basically either you are an attractive female character and that's all that you are or you're an ugly character but you're strong and you're independent and you don't you know rely on other people and you can do things yourself and unfortunately this is a trend that we've seen so much you can't be both in media now which is yeah. absurd i want you know the wonder womans who are of course drop dead gorgeous but they're also strong and they're intelligent and we're just not getting that in a lot of western entertainment anymore unless it's coming from you know independent creators or other places like like korean game developers yeah and i mean to watch this play out like so essentially for the normie out there listening to this they're gonna hear wait so being conservative means you like hot chicks good video yeah. games right. and you know because like we all these sexualize women. <laughs> yeah, like yeah and of course oh, she's sitting here wearing a i think that says call me daddy mm. yeah i think yeah. and that's a 
like it, but it, but we're the ones that are sexualizing everything apparently. Well, like, well, like when right. it's the other way around, right? When it's a, the other way around, when it's a even in a front loaded strong like a front loaded strong woman piece of entertainment, like let's just take Witcher or even Thor Love and Thunder where Chris Hemsworth and Henry Cavill, no woman is complaining about Henry Cavill or Chris Hemsworth in those movies. And th those are front loaded, inherently, you know, woke in nature, but nobody's got a problem with it. Not even dudes, not even dudes. They look at Henry Cavill in The Witcher or in Superman and say, damn, I need to go to the fucking gym. Yeah. 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 That's it. That's They're all not it complaining. is. And, and by the way, uh, just so we're clear, it's not like anybody's been sexualizing this game <laughs> anyway. No. Okay. no, no. Free camera mode. <laughs> <laughs> He's playing with one hand. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> This is such a great <laughs> He just keeps going up and down. <laughs> Cam. Dude, the music is fantastic too, man. Yeah. Just in that little bit, the music was great. Yes, yes. So, I mean, again, this is a ridiculous situation. By the way, shout out to Memology. I see you in the chat with the gifted membership. Thank you, Memology. Yeah. Um, and again, this is what they do every time is they paint this whole thing as like, I promise you, conservatives aren't paying attention to this game. They're just not like it's not a conservative game. And this I think that's a good label to put on conservatives to think that, hey, conservatives like hot chicks and video games and good video games. It's a good label. It's just nonsensical that they always kind of lean into that every single time. Ultimately, what Stellar Blade's doing is it's bringing us back to a discussion of um, good video games with attractive characters that people that are interested in video games uh, are, are into. Like, they want to see attractive people on, on their screen that they're playing as, and there's nothing wrong with that. It doesn't yep. automatically make the game good just because it has a hot chick in it. That is irrelevant to it. It's mm -hmm. just a nice kind of addition yeah. to what a lot of people are enjoying overall. And, uh, yeah, the fact that this is a controversial situation, and then you had IGN, was it France? Is that who yes, said it? Yes, IGN that? France. IGN France made that ridiculous statement about, like, the developers and how they've never seen a woman in their life, and this isn't a real woman. And then you had the model that's, you know, in the game, and then you had the – the developer who's uh, married, I believe, to uh, the uh, the artist that uh, designed it, which was an attractive female. It's just yeah. ridiculous, man. And well, this has been going on. I mean, even further than just this. I mean, even Tomb Raider. You look at the attacks yep. on Lara Croft and just attractive females in video games. I mean, I I hate to bring up Anita Sarkeesian, one of the women originally part of the original Gamergate, but her you know tropes versus women web series where she would attack you know Lara Croft and she would attack Bayonetta and she would attack all of these fictional female characters because they were attractive and then push this narrative that, oh, well, because they're so attractive, you know, people don't actually respect them as female characters. They only see them as objects of sexual desire, which of course is absurd. And that's the same thing that's happening with Cellar Blade. If Tropes versus Women was still around today, rest in peace, feminist frequency, you won't be missed. They would be attacking this game. And, you know, the media actually hasn't been going very hard against Stellar Blade. Of course, we've seen some articles, but they haven't been because they are desperate for relevancy. And so they know if they straight up attack it, like IGN France said, they are going to get pummeled. So they've been kind of playing the line of, well, we would normally attack this, but we're kind of not going to, at least not yet. We're still three weeks away from launch, so they might. And I'm sure that inevitably some of them will. But they've been trying their hardest to not really talk about it, which is hilarious because they're so desperate to not lose any more viewership. But they clearly still want to push the narratives that they've been pushing for over a decade and way longer than that. I'm just going back to even Gamergate 1 with people like Anita. Well, yeah. And uh, on that note, like I did, uh, let me see if I'm sharing my right screen here. I am. Okay. 
Okay, so speaking on the note about them being desperate for viewership or, or you know needing people to pay attention to them, uh, this uh, Ash Parrish said, uh, "I'd love to." This is Ash Parrish from The Verge that wrote a pro Sweet Baby Inc. Uh, article not too long ago. I'd love to have a conversation with folks who disagree with me. By and large, a lot of journalists do as well. The problem is, at least recently, is that only people uh, the only people I see who disagree with me are coming at me in bad faith and are extremely violent, racist, misogynistic. <laughs> and I said, hi, would you like to come on my show and have a great discussion? Checks notes. She heard defended Sweet Baby Inc. in an article full of lies. Never mind. You can fuck off. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, that's uh, that's how I feel about it, man, because y- you don't sit there and get to lie about Sweet Baby Inc. and lie about gamers and misrepresent the whole situation. And yeah. then you want to be desperate to be like, oh, all these toxic YouTubers. You know, yeah. I, I, I guess I, it, this is her trying to basically uh, feel out the space so she can try to get some attention in my opinion now again if other people want to bring her on that's totally fine i know flash said he'd bring her on more power to flash obviously um like for me though i i i wouldn't this this person deserves no respect in my opinion because uh, they've already proven like with their sweet baby ink article they're not looking to do any research they're just trying to build a certain narrative that's it what do you think jay yeah i agree with you completely these people are weird it's like they they're just trying to get on um channels to try to justify their message and they'll come on and just be like well you guys are seeing it a little differently i know what's really going on and it's not what you think it is and just try to defend like exactly what what they're trying to do in such a weird way it's almost like um like that when i i stopped watching like political debates because it just seems like people just straight up, <laughs> they just make stuff up out of the air and just yeah. say it just to get the applause of the people and birds of a feather all flock together, man. So like, that's just, uh, only debates I'll watch the Trump's in it. Cause you never know what the hell's going to happen. Yeah. Th- I mean, that's more entertaining <laughs> than it is debate, but I yeah, mean, it's yeah. just like when you, when you see someone, cause you'd be in jail. <laughs> what he <laughs> told Hillary. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, but it's just like, they, they will, they they will just conjure up something in the air just to just to kind of make make it feel like their side is is on the right side of history when when all the receipts are there. So it's like I don't, I don't know yeah. I don't know what she I don't know like I don't know what she has to gain uh, other than like clout coming out saying oh I went on there and I talked to them and they were ill informed and I and I'm the hero I'm the champion look at me I'm still spreading this stuff out there. Um, I'm doing my part by informing these losers that they have this, this, this guy that wears a hat all the time and never takes it off. You know, that's what they think of <laughs> Either me or Craig, but I'm taking well, credit for it. So the, the thing with Ash's tweet is it reminds me so much of the Frost situation yes. and G4 because she had posted this long tweet about how she would sit down with people who are her critics and she would have conversations with them and to reach out to her manager. And then she put yeah. out a fake email. And there was no way to actually contact. But she was saying, oh, these people won't actually talk to me. They won't actually message me. But there was tons of content creators trying to have discussions with her. But ultimately, she didn't want to have those discussions, which is the problem with these people, is that you can sit down and have a civil conversation with any of us here and plenty of content creators that she may disagree with. But ultimately, it's up to these people and they don't want to interact because then they would actually have to sit down and coherently you know lay out you know their thoughts and their opinions and might take backlash for them but they can't deal with that it's it's like these people join social media and they cannot take the heat and if you can't take the heat you have to get out of the kitchen that's it's just that simple well, that's, what, that's what happened with frost frost yeah. like just like yeah. you said now where is she Right, she they she left the inter- of- she left the internet. She deleted her social they, media. They probably working at a Seven right. Eleven. I hope they're paying her well. They dis- yeah, well, I know in California, there's a new twenty dollar minimum wage law that just went into effect. So maybe maybe she'll. It do would well not surprise me if in the next couple of months we see her pop up at a narrative consultation company. Yes, straight up. Yes, absolutely. The, one of these DEI consultation yeah. companies. Absolutely, I could see that um, because I uh, just. 
I think it was two and a half weeks ago, there was an article that went up on extremism in gaming and Gamergate 2 by Take This, which is, of course, funded by Homeland Security. And on that kind of on their cast list or their employee list of the journalists they have, there were several people who ran G4's reboot and several people who did the G4 reboot. So... Yeah, it's amazing because I remember when that G4 reboot happened, I was actually Ooh. like, I was I was excited to like when the yeah. announcement happened, you know, because it was and it was obviously tapping into like the nostalgia of it. Yeah. But it became clear very, very quickly that this was not the G4 you remember. And this is kind oh, of no. a, a, a lesson we just continue to have to learn over and over and over yeah. again about these properties. They buy up these properties. They utilize these IPs. And, uh, yeah, I know people had mentioned it in the chat earlier, and I looked into it a little bit, and I, I'm probably going to make a video. But sadly enough, looks like Nintendo's going down this route, too. Uh, mm. they've, they've got a job listing, of, and in that job listing, it's on their website. Uh, they're looking for a person that has a DEI uh, focus or some shit like that. Yep. And Nintendo, this is Nintendo of America. Yeah, um, yep, I was going to say. Yeah, it, it's just so sad. But it's like, man, like, go ahead you're going to say something yeah about yeah no i mean that is where it really stems so obviously uh nintendo or nintendo international which is really nintendo japan they've already had you know dei positions but now their you know american branch has been trying to find these positions and hire more of these individuals and that's how you know that they're that they're turning that they're turning to shit and it's unfortunate yeah. because i mean obviously pokemon is such you know a well-known name and then you of course have you know just nintendo in total with zelda and mario and all of these different amazing franchises um and it, it's it's very unfortunate that this is the path that many companies have chosen is this corporate dei trend that is going on and it, it, it's sad to see i mean obviously i know that you know people love to criticize the the nintendo switch and how it's underpowered and how we need a, a switch 2 or a switch pro or whatever but it's it's still a company that I wouldn't want to see completely disappear. And I know a lot of people feel the same because there is a lot of love and nostalgia there, but we've seen so many companies recently go down this path and ultimately it's just for the ESG money. Yeah. yeah that's and, what I was about to say. It's like they, they get, they get a fat check. I, I, yeah, Nintendo will be interesting to watch if they, if they inject some of this stuff and then they see the sales start to dip, how quickly they'll re like, I, I think of any company, they would be the one to be like, ah, Nintendo is built on <laughs> yeah, Nintendo, the passion in Nintendo's fan base. Obviously, I, I, I'm a huge fan of Nintendo, and um, but they are like there's this idea that Nintendo's invincible. Uh, the Wii U says differently. Um, yeah. So the Which Nintendo's I Nintendo. I, I was a fan of the Wii U, I, yeah. but it obviously was a massive failure. Right. But uh, yeah. in terms of the system itself, I, I enjoyed the the library of games. I bought it day one, but it was a massive failure, and. Um, so right now they are in a good place, probably one of the best places Nintendo's ever been coming off the Nintendo Switch and the DS, 3DS, all that stuff. Um, but their next decision is going to be massive. They and they need like what are they going to do? What what's the next step? What's the Nintendo Switch 2 going to look like? Well, if you have a lot of this negativity with this uh, DEI stuff hanging over you, and and trust me, it's going to continue to pick up traction, and it should be discussed. And I, like I said, I'll make a video about it because, yeah, that that to me, I want nothing. I want no part of that shit with Nintendo. Oh yeah. And uh, it looks like that it, again. It's like anything else, man. Just a little bit of piece of it. It's like a disease. Once you put a little mm -hmm. bit in there, it just starts well spreading throughout. I talk a lot on my channel about video game censorship as well. And over the years, Nintendo has been the least censorship yes. heavy when it comes to their video games. And it's like now they're trying to change. And it's so sad because you used to, even though, of course, N Nintendo, they've still censored games. It's not like they are blameless in this situation, but they have been the least censorship heavy out of, you know, Valve and and Sony and Microsoft, but now they're, they're changing and I'm worried about how the games are going to turn out. And of course, what they're going to end up doing with a switch to, or whatever the next console may be. Yeah. And 
it's like anything else. I mean, like if they really like they have been probably the best in that regard. But the moment you start bringing that into the equation, that's where the censorship right. starts. That's where, well, oh, Mario right. needs to be black. Like what? Right. Well, uh, Nintendo used to be the worst when it came to censorship. They used to be bad. Like the SNES games were super censored. But then with the Nintendo Switch generation, they got really good and they really started listening to consumers and everyone thought at that time wow they are like the reigning company in the industry and now with the more censorship them going for the esg money it just seems like they are falling down the rabbit hole that many companies are and and for what she's talking about with like super nintendo uh so mortal kombat was on um both systems both the sega genesis and the super nintendo on the Genesis, there was blood. On the Super Nintendo, yeah. things like that. You know, when she's talking right. about that, uh, th that was a big, that was a big deal back in the day because Mortal Kombat, like, was that was the game, and for it to have blood in uh, Sega Genesis version was awesome. Um, but I still, Super Nintendo is still the greatest system ever made, in my opinion. Uh, oh yeah. no, look who it is, John Morrow in the house. <laughs> that actually might be him. <laughs> <laughs> hey beardo i've been crushing so much poon lately can you help can you help out and clean up some of my scraps john i don't oh, want to no. touch nothing with a 10-foot pole that you've been near okay i don't man i'm so confused on this lore but uh, it makes you need beardo a timeline uh, i know he is like, a john morrow okay, so here's what happened Hold he's on. a fucking lying scumbag for, he's so a fucking hot. fraud con artist so for high tea we <laughs> laugh at a lot of stupid stuff but then we try to pull in like I, I try to find like positive articles to like, you know, motivate people a little bit in the chat. And so I pulled up John Morrow and Beard was like, Man, that is fake. not why you pulled up John Morrow. <laughs> that is not why you pulled yeah, him up because, because you like, knew it was a, guy, a joke. If you go back and watch, I was saying like, there's a guy in a wheelchair, man, that's dating. And so if he can do it, anyone can do it. That's basically what my whole that was my whole premise and beard was just the, like man, the hilarious the most hilarious part sucks. about it when we when we talked about john morrow is when he was the, when he was the subject jay in the title he didn't say john morrow like <laughs> positive that. positive paraplegic influencer he put guy in wheelchair <laughs> in the yeah, title. that was my title <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let me see if i can uh, find the uh, find the tweet Somebody said, uh, hang on, where's it at? Uh, Tardo is the reason people unsubscribe to G and G. Well, we've gained right. more subscribers in the past 30 days than we have in about a year. So apparently G Beardo's doing something right. So uh all right, here yeah. we go. Here I guess go. that has nothing to do with me actually making videos too, but eh, you know. All right, what are you sharing? All right, here we go. So this is this is the tweet that started it all. Uh here, let me blow it up. Let me see. If... Yeah, we shared it last night. Yeah. I always thought I would die a virgin. I'm in a wheelchair. I have left strength in a toddler. I need help eating, going to the bathroom, everything. Guys like me just didn't get laid. It was just a fact of life. But a part of me wondered, what if I wrong? In my 30s, I decided to test it. I hired a dating coach and started asking 10 women a day to have coffee with me. John, you haven't seen 10 women in your fucking life. 10 years later, I've been on over 500 dates. Four relationships of two plus years. Well, all right. Two marriage proposals. I said no both times. This motherfucker, John Morrow, has been proposed to twice and he said no? Bro. And the love of my life would make Hugh Hefner blush. Moral of the story, test your beliefs to find out if they're true. You might find the cage around so you I exists only to in say, your mind. Like, he is a fucking liar, dude. <laughs> I was basically saying, like, you could find, like, so people in our chat, sometimes during high tea, they do. They ask us questions. They're just like, this you know, son I, of a I've bitch a got proposed like, to hey, twice. If this guy can make it, so can you. Basically where I was going at. And then it took a, took a turn. Sounds God like sent it. me here. Look God sent me it. here to snap you out of your excuses. Follow and learn. Any person who will go out there and say, God sent me here to make you better, fuck you. No. <laughs> Look Dude, what, what an ignorant, fucking self centered, fucking narcissistic piece of shit John Morrow is. God sent me here to make you better. Fuck off. Oh, so.
I like John Morrow. Followed by Dre. <laughs> I like John Morrow. I think John Morrow sounds Texan. like a really good guy. And uh, maybe I'll get him on for an interview. He's a Find life out. coach. Good yeah. luck. I think he I think he could actually offer a lot of insight. And uh I think John Morrow is a good dude. So shout out to John Morrow. Keep slaying. I don't know if he can talk I think he just blows. Huh? I don't I don't think he can talk. I think he just like blows in a straw. Okay. I could be wrong. Thanks, Jay. The less we hear of John Morrow, the better. <laughs> All right. We have to get some super chats. So, Beardo, yeah, yeah. what the hell are you doing here? Let's go. Uh, let's do it. Um, let's see. Where we leave off? Freddie. Freddie for 24 Morrow, months. Says Cam Man. Feel her fear the Morrow. He got half cooler right there. <laughs> the half of him that works. <laughs> Freddie for 24 months. This is for Jay and Beardo, the true fantastic duo of the geeks and gamers. Miss my daily dose of Mario Kart on Mondays. Give me back my blue shell. Thank you. Mario Freddy. Kart will return. Uh, and I think Vera's going to join us uh, yeah. one of these weeks. So, uh, yeah. yeah. So we've got the Vegas trip and everything. So a lot of traveling. But once we get back settled and we're, Mario Kart will return. Um, let's see. Jay's half Asian son for a two dollars. By the way, Dad, I found some butter dishes. You want? Sure. Uh, thank <laughs> you, Jay's half Asian son. Stephen De Leon for a five dollars. Some guy was talking shit saying you eat dick sandwiches, but I had your back and told them you didn't even like bread. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Shaka Zulu for a 23 months. Who's the new guy? Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, two Algi to assault for a $2. Wink. Hi, Jeremy. Uh, Kyle Jordan says you should have my man's Cabrutus on. He's good people. Cabrutus has been on, and he's, mm -hmm. I told him he's yeah. got an open invite anytime he wants to hop back on. He's good. He's Cabrutus good is awesome. Yeah, he is. Uh, let's see. Andre CR for a 2500 in checks says, uh, Vara, how many butter dishes do you have? <laughs> I don't know what the reference is, but zero. It, it's honestly as much as it seems like a meme. Uh, Jay like has this fascination with butter dishes, and we're like, none of us have a butter dish. We just buy yeah. butter. Are from we the talking like store. butter bells, where you put the water at the bottom and no, then you no, put no. the butter like, in? You or buy a stick of about... butter, you put it in a dish, and it sits out on your counter. Yeah, that's yeah. I don't do that. Yeah, do you I have just... one of those? That's weird. <laughs> yes, exactly. It's exactly. Piece of butter that's in the fucking fridge, disgusting. <laughs> yes. No, it's not. It's like a yeah, whole it community. Is. There's no, a whole it's... community. Like these things. There's a oh, furry yeah. community. Send too. me the Facebook group to the community. <laughs> yeah. I want to see the proof that this community exists. <laughs> Jay was saying that people collect butter dishes as much as Stanley Cups. Like this whole Stanley Cup craze oh, where people no, are like not lining up Stanley outside Cups. of Target for days for because hours. they want them. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Look at the chat. It's going crazy. They're amazing. I have three or four. Yeah. He found all, two all two of them. Not all here. two comments. The chat's going crazy. What the heck is I'm pulling up tons of them. So, okay, so actually, sweet corn. Uh, my, my, my parents did have a butter bell growing up. The one where it's like, butter it looks bells like, are cool. yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. it looks like a bell. You stick the butter in it and you put a little yeah. bit of water at the bottom at of the it. At the bottom keeps, so it locks it, it, it so moist. it seals it. Yep, yeah. so it seals it and I, doesn't go bad. I don't know why you just wouldn't have butter in the butter container and then take some butter out when you need it like a normal person. Because that's like, yeah. but that butter's filled with like all kinds of terrible... And look what at you, Kevin, $200. What are you talking about? It's the butter same dish. butter that you're eating. What do you mean it's bad butter? It's, it's just butter. I just keep sticks this of butter nothing, in the fridge, and I use it when I want it. This has to do with Jay, and he still claims it's his. Thank you, Kevin, for $200. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin, for the and, 200 and, and it's not. it has nothing to do with Jay, by the way. Kevin, for $200! He does. has nothing to do with Jay. He didn't even take time to put your name in the super chat. He, yeah, because Jay. he was so upset at your... Butter dish, I don't know. I was wondering where you were going with that one. I was like, Hate. where are you going with this one? The butter dish. Like, look at this right here. Like this is this is like beautiful. Can someone like send this to me? Look at this. This is a thousand dollar butter. Oh dish right hell here. Oh. no! Oh, look at come that on. with a fucking kind of butt that plug is. on top. Every time you want to use <laughs> butter, you got to grab a butt plug. Gross. That That's is a flower. The and, ugliest uh... piece of silver I've ever seen. Yeah, I'm not. Why would you want that? That's what poor people say. <laughs> Mander for five months. Jay, could you please get your half Asian son on FNT? Sure. I'm sure he has a lot to say. <laughs> 
The Raven but come and the on, come on, Beardo. Beardo, hold on, hold on. Before you continue, one last, one last one. You don't, you don't want this, man. You wouldn't want this in your house. I mean, that is cool. See, that's see. Cool. It's so but lazy, though. Why is the bottom part white and not like green for grass it's or something? Perfect. Lazy. That's what, if you want you thirty dollars, if you want thirty freaking dollars for this, you need to paint it properly. Yeah, paint no. it like no. a pokeball. Be and... You don't want to paint yeah. it yellow because it, it takes sense. away from the no, yellow. No, but you paint it green, like he's laying on like a a grassy hill. See, Thank yes. You. Yes, Thank perfect. You. That's all I need to know. Kevin with 20 gifted crap, memberships like, as well. Go. I got my tax refund. Here you go. Uh, Kevin's always <laughs> dropping bombs, man. Shout out to Kevin. Thank Shut you so up. much. Um, the Raven oh. in the writing desk for three months is 199. Thank you. Orange and Gonton for a 199. Beardo should call Ryan and tell him he's gay. Um, <laughs> I don't want to lose my job. My cock for a $2 says Ryan's gay. Well, there you go. Right, this is go. the weirdest comment ever. I, I read it a couple times trying to, like, here, let me find it. All right, Decipher Jeremy, it. Jeremy helped me find my faith. He's the only person on YouTube I agree with 100% on political issues and who I support, but I hate him. A funny hate. Not a kill you hate, laughing my ass off, but he's such a loser. <laughs> that is, such I think a, that, that I is think a that, backhanded compliment. That's like, yeah. amazing. That's that was a, a windy comment. Yeah, that's a, that was an amazing comment right there. Thank you so much. Uh, I didn't know what direction that was going to end up in, but it was good. The uh, guy stuck the landing on that one. So, uh, Taker for $2. <laughs> Beardo can't, ev uh, can't evict him due to being disabled. Thank you for the two dollars. Giggles and bits for a five. Beardo is upset that a guy who always skips leg day pulled a ten. John Morrow ain't pulling nothing, bro. John Morrow ain't pulling jack shit. Oh, no, that's funny. The dude is a fuck. I don't even know if he exists to be honest. I think he's a made up. He's a made up person. He's, oh, a, he's like a bot. That's good. Born paralyzed, hundreds of broken Fucking bones. Fucking Reed. Pneumonia 16 times. Reed. Fuck off, John Morrow. Uh, Dermy there we go. For... Disco Cobra 50. 50. Woo. Jay is the most sophisticated of all of us. The high class uh, society. We brokies must bow to our overlords and accept that we will never live up to the standards. Please, Jay, don't be so hard on Jeremy or Beardo uh, for they lack the knowledge. Look at mm. that. True. Thank you, Jay, for blessing us with your presence. One, one last mm -hmm. thing, and then we'll go up, move on. Look at these butter dishes, man. There's a pig. Oh, my yeah. God. Those are the ugliest fucking Look things I've ever things, seen in my man. life. <laughs> those are Look ugly. That. Look at this one. The Corn Bell Silver it Company. It looks like it just Jay. someone took it from the Titanic. A cow. Jay, a you cow. realize you could go buy retro video games instead of butter dishes? Right? Like, there are a hundred different things uh, you could I, buy I'm a digital that downloader. I'm not really a, you know... So if it's Damn. on Switch, I'll get it. <laughs> All right. Just disappointing me. Uh, Dermy Wormy for a two dollars. Beardo sounds mad. John Morrow sounds awesome. You didn't even spell his <laughs> name right, Dermy Wormy. So that shows how much you care. <laughs> Sophie for a two dollars. Glad to see new guy still has a job. Toxic one nine nine percent. You're damn fucking right. Tobias Nexus for a five dollars. I keep hearing John uh, John Romero. But Beardo knows who that is. Somehow Jay doesn't. Jeremy and Vera, please tell me you two know who Romero is. Yeah, who? of course. Uh, John Romero. Well, who's John Romero? You don't know? I don't know. I'm. I'm. Wow. I'm, I'm Doom. Uh, Doom. Oh yeah. Doom. Okay. Yeah. Dude. Come on. Okay. Uh, I just needed a quick reminder. For I mean, you really you should go to Google and type in uh, his name. You're gonna know uh, who he is. Yeah. Sir Paladin Thundercake for a five dollars. Everything fun and quality has been labeled right wing lately. Damn, must suck ass to be right wing. <clears throat> uh, Chris Benoit for a five dollars. Beardo and John Morrow's disabled body both have something in common: dead weight. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. <laughs> Elsa Barrett for ten dollars. <laughs> if there's one thing conservatives are known for, it's scantily clad woman in a video game. Wait. And that's it. That's, that's the, it. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. Silent so games for two dollars. I bought a corn dog. How was it, man? Was it good? Memeology gifted a geeks and gamers membership. Thunder chicken for a five. New guy didn't get fired yet. Put this money towards Jay's delinquent child support. Thank okay, you. real quick. So before we move on, or before we continue on, we do have this article right here from the CBC. 
And it says why a Montreal video game consulting studio uh, is at the center of the online anti-diversity storm. Wow. Uh, oh, yeah. No. So, yeah. So Cabruta sent this to me this morning. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's just it's just such nonsense. Uh, oh, yeah. Absolutely laughable that they continue to, to go down this path. Sweet Baby Inc. is accused of forcing political agendas. Developers call it um, a misinformed hate campaign. Yeah, of course. Of course, that's what they call it. Um, yeah. So so the first name that it starts out with is Kim Belair, uh, who is the Sweet Baby Inc. co-founder. Let me just uh, make this. There we go. All right. Um, it says, uh, Kim Belair says she wasn't surprised at the harassing and threatening messages that she and her team have been receiving since last fall. Still, their details have been enough to shake them. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, they just don't stop. Oh, it's I don't know so why they think they're on the rights. These activists, man, just uh, like you said, you, all it takes is a little bit dipped in the water and it just corrupts the whole thing. I mean, yeah. you have to start off with the fact that this is CBC. I mean, everything from them is completely biased. It's Canada after all. I personally tend to ignore Canadian media because I assume it's all going to be biased. Left is bullshit, but that is exactly what this is. Yeah. No, this is this is insane. And uh, again, th they're setting the tone. It's just like when the Black Girl Gamers thread put that uh, thing out about gothics. Like, they were setting yeah. a tone. And oh, the yeah. people that didn't want to actually look into any of the details ate all of it up. And then, of course, Gothics destroyed them with her video. This is doing the same thing right here. This is already setting a tone. Now, the thing that really started all of this, truly started all of this, uh, at least took it to another level, was Sweet Baby Inc. employees trying to get the uh, group taken down and have Cabrutus's entire Steam account deleted. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's really what took it to the next level. Yeah. That now was there criticism before then? Yes. Was there discussion about everything before then? Yes. But it wasn't until Sweet Baby Inc. employees tried to get someone taken down for using publicly available information, bringing it all together so that, you know, consumers, customers, gamers can look at this and go, oh, okay, uh, this is not something I want to. Hey, look that's into. Ryan Kennel's name mentioned in that article. Um, yep, it is, yeah, it is yeah. the last paragraph. Mm -hmm. So right here, uh, they said, or let's see. So Belair's 16 person team has become, um, the center of a new storm of online arguments, conspiracy theories, and harassment. Uh, a self-described gamers, uh, as self-described gamers accused them of pushing a radical leftist agenda into games. They claim players, uh, and even developers themselves want no part of quote, they said they want to take over the games industry. They hate white, straight male gamers, said commentator Ryan Kennel in a video on YouTube where he has over 300,000 followers. Let's go. Yeah. Um, RK Outpost in the house. Um, the next section makes me so freaking angry. So shout out to RK Outpost. Uh, let's see right here. Uh, no, babe. scroll back up a little bit. Oh, okay. It was right under the Ryan comment. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They said, um, where is it? It's right. It's the one right under the Ryan. You have to scroll back up. Because um, they talk about Gamergate and they talk about did how. I miss it? No, it's right there. The Ryan Kennel one's right there. Oh, right here. So, oh, yeah, 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 right here. Yeah, so, 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 yeah, yeah, some have likened the backlash to Gamergate, a harassment campaign mostly targeting women in the video game industry that began in 2014. Gamergate started as a discussion <laughs> about ethics in fucking journalism. It wasn't a harassment campaign. There were a bunch of women like Anita Sarkeesian, Brianna Wu, uh, Sam Mags, all of these women who came out and labeled it as a harassment campaign because they said, oh, well, people basically are not agreeing with our take, so we're going to label it a harassment campaign. Even if you go to Wikipedia in the Gamergate page, it says it's a harassment campaign, which is complete and utter bullshit. That's not what Gamergate ever was. But of course, they've spun it, and that's the narrative now that, oh, Gamergate was just a harassment campaign when it wasn't. Yeah, it was also, uh, apparently, it was a, a campaign oh, to get Trump real, to, to get Trump elected, which is the right. dumbest thing. And ever. then you had Zoe Quinn, who ended up completely screwing over the industry and of course she's been a part of several different um 
we'll just call it situations. But Zoe Quinn was Zoe Quinn and Nia Sarkeesian were the main two that started this gamer date harassment campaign narrative. And then, of course, we had the Alex Holoka situation, which was just such a tragic thing to happen. But I mean, Gamergate 1, that some people even claim never ended and were still in Gamergate 1, was a complete and utter grift for these people. Yeah, yeah, 100%. And they're just going to continue with this fake narrative and this fake bullshit. And I'm going to do a whole video on breaking down this article because it is absolutely insane. Oh, yeah. uh, the level of bullshit in here is a sweet baby detective group. I'm going to go over all that. Uh, then it gets into, um, where is it at? Oh, there's Alyssa. <laughs> um harassment um and all of this like so the whole thing is just stupid so i'm gonna get i'm gonna break this whole thing down i'm sure ryan's gonna have a video on it as well and uh many others i've already seen uh cabrutus uh talking about it online so it, this is just ridiculous so they're going to get crushed um because oh, yeah. This is full of garbage and lies, um, and it's spinning a narrative. It did say that they did reach out to Cabrutus, and he uh, declined to comment, which is the right move because if you – and this is like uh, with situation. I know Melanie Mack was uh, going to talk with uh, Kotaku at one point, and she ended up uh, letting them know she wasn't. But th there's no good conversation to come from this because they're going to twist and manipulate everything you say. They've proven this more times than we can count. Oh yeah. The only way you can have lie. Go ahead. the only way you can have a conversation with these people if it's on a live stream on your channel where nothing can be edited and nothing can be misrepresented. Now, of course, they would probably take that and write an article misrepresenting it, but at least you would have the clear cut proof to prove them wrong. Right. Right. So yeah, another ridiculous uh, hit piece. And uh, so there you go. Real quick, uh, this is an important question that I was not prepared uh, to uh, ask everybody, but I think it's important. In-N-Out or Whataburger? It's In-N-Out and it's not even fucking close. I've never I've, had either. I've Whoa! had both. <laughs> I've had both several times. It's in and out. It's, it's in and out. Not, it, in it's in and out by it's a out. fucking. Do you not mile. eat a lot of fast food, Vera? Uh, a... It's either like Wendy's or Taco Bell. Oh, okay. That's it. Okay. You That's gotta, it for me. You, you got to try both. Uh, I, uh, I will try both. Yeah. Because uh, in and out, which, where are you located? Not the I'm dogs in Boston. Yourself, so, okay. So there's no in and out. Like in and out. Yeah. Where, no. where is. So there's no in and outs here no. in, in in Florida. Um that's not why I, yet. Yeah, not, not yet. yet. Yeah. Culver's is the way to go though, regardless. Culver's is better than both, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, Culver's those these both, these so. ones are not in Boston. Yeah. So. so okay, okay. Um, Jay, do you have an answer? Do you uh, want to participate? Not, it's Whataburger. It's not in and out. Um, you're wrong. Oh, what well, that's fine. Fuck? No, uh, while no, you guys no, it's are not. waiting You're wrong. six hours just to get a um, regular burger and six terrible hours. fries, I'm going to be in Whataburger six, six eating, hours. finished, and going to get it's going not, about my day. It's what not talking a six about six hour hours? Wait. What are you talking oh, about? Oh, man, dude, every time I've been to In N Out, the line is like 10 times wrapped around. Okay, but that's uh, going because going inside is a madhouse. And it's, it's just good. like, I, I don't want to deal with it. Because it's that's, good. That, that's because you're going to an In N Out where there's only like two in the entire state. And that's how good it is. I'll People my are Mac. willing to wait. <laughs> I'll take my Big Mac. We have to do another fast food tier list video. Donald's is S tier. Jeremy said it. Ryan said it. And Wendy's guess what? is S tier. We're so going to <sighs> Vegas next week, and there's two in and outs in Las Vegas. I'm going to have a fuck ton of in and out next week. Let's man. go. I cannot wait. Let's go. I can't wait. It's going to be uh, awesome. Dude, right. this whole thing is so fucking stupid, man. Like, the whole, it's like Hogwarts Legacy was just a, like a piece of this huge mess of a fucking puzzle dude video games are fucking make-believe man dude you have to put time and effort like playing a video game you are taking time out of your day to play several hours worth of a fucking game yeah yes no shit you want to be playing if the woman is a main character you don't want to be looking at some fucking rag of a fucking like of a character that is boring, sounds like a dude, looks like a dude, but yet they're a strong character. Nah, dude, if you're going to be putting in 20, 30, 40 hours into a game and you're playing as a chick, everybody, besides these weirdo losers who you have to point and laugh at them, you want to play as a hot 
chick. You want to play as a good-looking, feminine woman who can actually stick up for her own and actually be be um, competent in her uh, gameplay nice and her to story. Abby. Come on. Abby did nothing <laughs> wrong. I want to Come play on. as the Ada Wongs and Jill Valentines of the world, okay? <clears throat> Agreed. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, I mean, uh, Abby, uh, yeah, not... Uh, not really. I mean, look, I, I like Abby if we're watching like, you know, professional wrestling, maybe, but uh, not even not not for watching her kill off my uh, or it is Abby. What is Abby? Abby's Abby Abby's a female. Abby's she, a female. She as far did as we get, know. She got murdered from behind. Remember, she got absolutely <laughs> she got. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> She got absolutely oh, laid I like, into I like, man. I like when they were like, uh, The Last of Us 2 has just begun filming, and a month later, like, Pedro Pascal's done with Last of Us 2, and everybody's like, Yeah, he just got freaking yeah, killed. Yeah, he's fucking yeah. died. Yeah. What do you he mean? He got killed in episode two with a golf club. I'm, I'm looking forward to. Uh, and speaking to about that. attractive female characters, it. did you guys hear about what they did to Pokemon Go? No, no. A game that's what six years old now. Oh, no, no, oh no, it came out in 2016, so it's older than that. But they decided to go back in and change the female avatars so they all no longer have like feminine curves and like hips, and they went in and altered all of the female body proportions. Like all of these years later. Well, Pokemon oh, Go's God. always been trash. Pokemon, well, Pokemon Go was was normy. Yeah, it was normy garbage. It went Pokemon. downhill when it's Hillary not real Clinton Pokemon. Promoted it. What are you talking about? I don't know who created Pokemon Go, but I'm trying to figure out how we get them to have Pokemon go to the polls. Yeah, that that was the end. It was over. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's no. the worst you know, comment What makes me so ever. sad is I share a birthday with Hillary Clinton, so it's always <laughs> brought up October 26th. Uh, <laughs> uh, chat's mad at me. Chat's mad at me. So, yeah. uh, sorry, chat. Why? What'd you say? I, that, I played the, the, the Hillary Clinton clip. Oh, oh. oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, understandable then. Yeah, so... Sorry about that, guys. Um, here's my response to that clip. Shut up, silly woman. There we go. Okay, now we got we got the whole we got the whole thing there for you. Um, but all right, Beardo, read some super chats. What are you waiting Let's on? Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, Sir Paladin Thundercake for a five dollars. All men are enemies. Tattooed on a lady wears "Call Me Daddy" T-shirt. LOL. <laughs> I know. Yeah, the <laughs> right? irony. The <laughs> irony, so man. Weird. Uh, Gary's beard dingleberries for a five dollars. Um, Gary, they make beard shampoo, brother. I know the best words, I know all the words, but there's no better word than picky baby. Uh, thank you, Maverick Pilgrim for a two dollars. It all started with effeminate boy bands. Mm. Yeah, that might mm. be the that's a good that's that's not mm. like so the big. We had the big boom of like Backstreet Boys in sync, uh, 98 degrees, uh, the new kids on the block, which now new kids we on have the block were the first. Now we have K pop. Yeah. Oh, that's even worse. I think One Direction kind of like fucked up a lot of things for a few decades. Which one all, are they? They're all gay. It's uh, Harry <laughs> Styles, right? One Direction is Harry Styles. Every right. single yeah, yeah, dude yeah. in that band likes dick. <laughs> well, I mean, Harry Styles is the one that like put the dress on. Yeah, he wears uh, dresses, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah. What are we he's doing the about? only he's the only one from that group that actually does anything, right? Yeah, I don't even Maybe. know if know. like he he he's the only name I've ever heard of that's attached right. to that group. Like the rest right. of them are really irrelevant. Because I know he did "Don't Worry, Darling." That movie that was actually pretty decent, and then he's still doing he, he was, some he music. Was in, yeah, he was in the uh, Nolan movie uh, Dunkirk. He was in right. Dunkirk. Mm -hmm. um, Isn't that too? I still say Instinct was better than Backstreet Boys. No, Backstreet Boys. Yeah. Backstreet no, Boys I agree. I agree. NSYNC is better. NSYNC uh, better. Zebra Keiki for a five dollars. When I search Bully Hunter's original video on YouTube, it gives me a number for self. <laughs> gives me a yeah. number for the self delete crisis hotline. 
I yes. bet I bet the watch is watching us right now. Like, these toxic gamers. I'm a toxic Animal Crossing gamer. Yes. Yes. I'm going to cancel it really quick. Up. So what could be like I've played the only thing I've played a little bit of Animal Crossing. Um, me and Johnny were basically competing for who could catch the most fish because we turned like a comp. We turned it to a competition. What in the hell <laughs> could be toxic about Animal Crossing? OK, so. That Krista Nova well, plays this so, all. So let's go back a couple of years because when Animal Crossing came out, you could put down a custom flag and you could put your own design on that flag. And so, of course, people were putting like go Trump <laughs> and people were putting like, <laughs> yeah. like, 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 like no. flags for That's around true. the world. And Krista could, actually made a Geeks yeah. and Gamers flag yep. for it. Yeah, she yep. had a Geeks and Gamers flag. That's yep. a shout out so to her. that is what I think they've deemed as toxic because you could put anything on that flag. Yes. And I I think people. they actually yeah. removed that or like limited that flag option yeah. but i yeah. think that's what they mean about like toxicity and animal crossing because what else would be toxic i know pete has attacked animal crossing because you catch fish and butterflies and you put them in tanks and oh my god you put them in a museum but besides that i mean those are the only two toxic things oh at god. animal crossing Peter. i would oh like god. to label myself a toxic animal crossing gamer <laughs> and i stand <laughs> by the toxicity but that should put it in perspective right there the, that should put in perspective the fact that Animal Crossing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, is yeah. any type of issue whatsoever. If you've played Animal Crossing, like so, Animal Crossing uh, New Horizons came out right around when the pandemic started, basically, and it was yeah. a perfect kind of storm. Like Blew it sold up. like it sold like twenty million copies in like a month. It was insane how many copies it sold, and it kind of like was a. It really did kind of give people a lot of like. Uh, it was a way for to escape the the craziness of the real world, yeah. and it is a very relaxing game. And it's the fact great. that people are actually like some of these activists are trying to turn this into some kind of negative thing, it just shows you that there's never, there's no way to actually satisfy this group of people because they're always offended. What are you sharing, Beardo? Uh, yeah, I mean, speaking of uh, bully hunters, uh, this is our uh, this is our favorite bully hunters host, uh, Zombie Unicorn. And here at Geeks and Gamers, we are not toxic at all. We are very, uh, you know, we like to spread positivity uh, and you know, the most sincere way possible. So this is a zombie unicorn and zombie unicorn. Um, you know, I said I can fix her last night. Um, you know, we're putting out like a, a distress call, uh, zombie unicorn. I can fix you and I'll give you two very good, big valid reasons on why I can help out here. Mm -hmm. So I'm just trying to be positive zombie unicorn, two big, you know, voluptuous reasons why I can, you know, Lend a hand. So hey, Chad, you know, don't rem yeah, Chad, don't forget, women don't exist to be nice on the eyes for you. So if you say anything, <laughs> Frost is gonna get you. Uh, Beardo, I got Just a question. Saying. I had a question. Yeah. Why? 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 Boobs. <laughs> Jay, what do you think about all this? Uh, let's read some super chats. <laughs> uh, Tobias Nexus for a ten dollars. To be fair, Bayonetta had far more, uh, far more than just a hot. Had oh, far yeah. more. Th this yes. is th this is uh, a little <laughs> poorly worded here. Far more than just a hot witch. The combat was smooth and satisfying. The stories in one and two were great. Enzo and Luca had great ke uh, chemistry with her, and Rodan was amazing. Uh... Yeah, Bayonetta is fran fan freaking tastic. Love Bayonetta. When do we Can, have a new? Is there a new Bayonetta in the works? They mm. came out with Bayonetta three, which was definitely a steep decline, and then they came out with like a a, a spinoff when Bayonetta was younger, and it was more of like a fairy tale or storybook game, which was really cool. But yeah, I'm waiting for the controversy. Like, I that's interesting that Bayonetta didn't have the same kind of negativity that that Stellar Blade's creating just for the same reasons. You know well, what I mean? Well, well, so. the thing is, is is a decade ago when GamerGate One was happening, Anita Sarkeesian constantly attacked Bayonetta, and she's Bayonetta is a character that's constantly attacked. Even a couple months ago, they came out with an official like art book for Bayonetta, and 
spoiler alert, I guess we're talking about years old games, but she has a child named Viola and there were people who were pissed that she wasn't bisexual or she wasn't a lesbian and that they, they dare to portray her in a, you know, heterosexual relationship. See, Anita Sarkeesian was kind of before my time about covering a lot of this stuff. That's why, like, when I started getting traction for, like, Last Jedi and everything, be like, oh, he's an old Gamergate guy. And I'm like, what the hell's Gamergate? The hell? I don't even, like, I don't know anything about Gamergate. And so yep. I had to go back and do the research. And, like, Anita is someone, like, obviously I've memed on her a lot uh, in the last several years because, I mean, why wouldn't you? Uh, you, yeah. you know, but I, I never really followed a lot of, like, the feminist frequency stuff back in the day. Beardo was a big fan for sure. Um, yeah, I might have been the biggest one. Yeah. Well, Continue. the thing is, well, that, is was, that, that was Beardo. New, new guys. Yeah. New guys. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Go ahead, Vera. You're gonna say but, something. But uh, people, people love to label me as a. Well, now of course the GamerGate two has kind of started. It's different, but before people were like, "You're just a GamerGate channel, bro." I was 14 playing Call of Duty, shit talking people on Modern <laughs> Warfare two and three. Okay, <laughs> I was not on YouTube talking about the current state of the industry. Now I was becoming more active in you know social media and actually seeing what was going on, but it's not like I was commentating on it like I am now and i think it it's hilarious uh is liking celebrate alt right yes so is commenting on geeks and gamers videos so welcome yeah. to the party pal <laughs> and we're in a hat. welcome to the party pal hey beardo how about those super chats uh yeah let's do it why not uh, mark the cyborg's in the house what's up mark cyborg i just want to play hell divers man uh ken win for and, five dollars uh, kyle jordan oh sorry You see that you can reach 100 and level 150 now in Helldivers? Super Jets. All right. Can win for a $5. <laughs> Guy is complaining about attractive female characters while wearing a Metal Gear shirt. Yeah. yeah Moose irony. for a five. Um, Liber bibs are always so ugly. F tuber censorship. Thank you, Moose, for the five. Hayden <laughs> for a 10. Philip Chan did nothing wrong. No, he does everything right. Joseph A for a nine months. Gary loses to uh, Gary loses to doors. Phil loses to ladders. Jeremy loses to hat removal. Just messing, man. Keep killing it, gentlemen and lady. Mine is hey. gravity. <laughs> Video games, it's gravity. It's it's all downhill. Uh, Jakob for a eleven months. The woke left live rent free in their own heads. This is true. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Um. Animating Andy for a five dollars. Uh, Mercante has daddy issues. Jay, you got any advice? Uh, not at the moment. Uh, <laughs> it can be Universal Studio. You have to be a member uh, to his channel to get that kind of advice. Magnum <laughs> Norse for a two dollars. Apparently, that big butt woman kicks butt. Ministry of Who? Wrong Thing for five dollars. <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming the Stellar Blade. Oh, Eve, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Uh, Ministry of Wrong Thing for a five dollars. We're getting to the point where simply being heterosexual will be considered a political statement. I yeah. think we're already there. Yeah, yeah. I think we're already there. Uh, yeah, agreed. So David, sad. David Smart for a 20. Hail the fellowship and the 199. And thank you guys for all this info about these freaks trying to destroy video games. I'm a normie when it comes to video games. I'm shocked people stoop this low to push this woke garbage. It's just desperation at this point. I mean, it's like anything else I've said. When, when something is dying or it's at the end it becomes very desperate and that's yes. one of the kill media the corporate media they're kind of at that place where they are at they are they've been on the decline for so many years but uh now it's at a point where yeah uh, youtubers in their bedrooms or their you know basements or whatever have far more impact than these corporate giant media companies with millions of dollars of backing g4 is a classic example they just poured oh, yeah yeah, millions and millions and millions of dollars into this, and you got a bunch of retards on Friday Night Tights that were getting like ten times the viewership than them, and uh, it that's just that they're desperate and they're frustrated and angry, and because ultimately someone like a uh, Alyssa Mercante can't just start a YouTube channel and gain an actual following. Yeah, uh, that's just not something she's going to be able to do. Uh, they need the corporate structure and the corporate backing to give them a platform in which they can spew their nonsense. So. Yeah, definitely. Demanji for a five. These fools saying that conservatives uh, Hold on, are... hold on, hold on, hold on. Son of a fucker. Uh, Demogeni. 
My that's my brother. Demogenai. What's up, Demogenai? Sorry, sorry. Demogenai. Sorry, Demogenai. What's up, buddy? My, my what did you fault, say? What did you say? Demanji. I said Demanji. <laughs> I'm just gonna call him Jumanji. Why not? Honestly, I think Demanji is a cooler name. Yeah. You might want to consider changing. Yeah, he's a black guy. He's probably gonna destroy you now. <laughs> did you like? Is that? <laughs> what the fuck is that? What is that supposed to mean, Jay? Is this from Jay's York, secret dude. racism what? coming out again? <laughs> <laughs> what is that supposed to mean, man? Be careful. <laughs> Are you saying that he's dangerous? You saying that he yeah. is capable of committing violence against me? What are you trying to say, man? Yeah. You've been a good friend. <laughs> now I'm scared. There he is. Look now him. I'm worried. Look at, look at that guy. Should I be worried? I would be. Uh, sorry, <laughs> uh, so, sorry, Demanji. I'll never York. get your name wrong ever again. Uh, <laughs> these fools saying that conservatives are into Stellar Blade because of Eve. Meanwhile, cons were up in arms about a mild calendar. Here it is, right here. Zero cents made. Yeah, I know. Uh, lower lip slicker gifted five geeks and gamers memberships. Thank you very much. Magnum uh, Wars for Tomok for fifty. Fifty. Ooh. Fifty. There you go, Beardo. Go. Uh, if, Eve, if Eve is a conservative game character, I'm glad there are so many iconic conservative game characters like, um, like Aya, Aya Brea, uh, Jill Valentine, Claire Redfield, and last but not least, Samus. Samus. Yes. So stupid to label and these Ada things Wong. political. It's just so Games dumb. Right, it's not bio. political. It is not political, but they are trying so desperately That's to what make I'm saying. it political. It's like, it's so stupid. Right. Well, I mean, again, like, so, yeah. Mario like, is definitely MAGA because he wears a red hat. Well, yeah, <laughs> so I mean, like. so Mario. He's MAGA. If you look at, like, uh, I, I can't. I, it will be interesting when Metroid Dread 4 comes out, which maybe is another 10, 15 years from now, for all we know from Nintendo. But Yeah, who knows? Uh, once that game comes out, it will get a, like, Metroid Dread kind of flew under the radar, which sad to me because i love metroid dread so much um but it just it, i think it's like two million copies three million copies which isn't a lot on the switch but that's right. a obviously a prominent female character an attractive female character and uh they didn't really pounce on that story but samus is clearly a character that if if samus becomes more relevant uh not that she's not relevant but you know what i mean if the game yeah. actually start selling a lot more and they become more mainstream they will jump all over that story and start labeling metroid a conservative game <laughs> it's gonna right. be the stupidest thing ever right. it's gonna be the dumbest thing ever um uh, let's see gohan for 50, 50. i just wanted to say no, something I, from I was... the heart guys good people and Good people and people who tell the truth always get the flack, and it's bullshit. Grums is the man, and he needs to stay strong. Hope his family stays safe. God bless you guys. By the way, Trump 2024. Let's go. Yeah, Dr oh, uh, Grums yeah. actually sent a tweet out saying that his family was okay. They were just shaking up. Um, that's good. So uh, that's really, like, the whole that's thing goodness. is just su super, super scary. Yeah, it and, was. Uh, but glad to hear that. And Grums is just out there crushing it. So, um, obviously, yeah. we always have Grums back. Uh, Albert, not a retro for a five dollars. I wonder if the woke know when they when they nick that character's Eve's appearance, they are body shaming Shin J. Um, I'm gonna mispronounce her name. Shin J. Ewan, masters of hypocrisy. Yeah, they uh, don't care. No, they oh don't yeah, care. no. J. Watt for a two dollars says Iris wristwatch. Thanks, Gabriel Knight for a ten dollars roll tie. Jeremy, I know you don't watch college basketball, but you need to support Bama basketball. They made their first ever Final Four and have one of the best up and coming coaches in college game. Yep. Oh yeah, did I say Metroid? My Metroid, Metroid Prime Four because we had Metroid Prime on the GameCube. Didn't both the, the first two came out on the GameCube, right? And then Echoes was that a Wii U or a Wii game? Metroid Prime Three wasn't that? Yes. I think that was a Wii U title. I mean, a Wii, a Wii, not Wii U. A yeah, Wii. Wii. damn it, Nintendo Wii. and your damn names. I know. Um, yeah. So. Switch to Switch yeah, yeah, Pro, Switch yeah. to Pro, Switch <laughs> to Extreme. They, like, I think I they do need to just go with the number system now. Just yeah. switch. You yeah, have the switch. Now well, you that's go what switch PlayStation. Two, I mean, I know they've got like the PlayStation, you know, like pros and all that, but like it's pretty simple. So the in terms PlayStation, of PlayStation One, Pro. PlayStation Two, PlayStation Three. I hope that they just keep it Switch, Switch Two, Switch Three. 
I, I think that's the way they should do it. Uh, please Which don't go down pro the pro extreme mega. Yeah, don't that's go, gonna be the name. Don't go down the uh, don't go down the rabbit hole of uh, the Xbox One. Don't do that. So no, no. yeah, that's that honestly might have been what killed Xbox. Mm. That's where it's like it all was downhill from there. Yeah. Yep. Fish shooter for eleven months. Thank you, John Morrow. Oh no, we read that one from John Morrow. Go fuck yourself, John Morrow. By the way, Magnum <laughs> Norse for a twenty. Vera brings up good gaming. Uh, brings up good gaming industry. And Jeremy goes, I occasionally play Fortnite. Hey, I haven't talked <laughs> yeah. about Fortnite at all. I don't play right, Fortnite. In the last I will download hours, it though. I She's remember Jay it. a long time ago was really trying to get me to play Fortnite. I remember. I never I did because Fortnite fucking sucks. No, it's all about hell <laughs> I'll I'll play it. I'll learn it. Coalition. We're gonna for get Vera, we're gonna get Vera dark, dark on some Fortnite. And it's gonna be awesome. She's gonna be obsessed with it because you haven't played no build it. Have you played it at all? I have played it, just Could not be. no build. Okay, see, no build mm. the game yeah. changer. You should play Apex. Apex Legends. Nice. I nope, can't do yeah. it. What are we can't doing? Do it. The only can't game that matters right now is can't Hell Divers. It. Can't do it. I still haven't played Hell Divers. <sighs> it's so. I good. know. I know. I'm a fake it's gamer. So addictive. I, it's so Women addictive. don't actually play games. I, I, I I'm just telling you, I can't. I can't play Apex Legends on principle alone because of Titanfall. I can't do it. Yeah, it, but it's such a good game. Uh, I mean, Koali for a 10. Do, My favorite Nintendo game is the Fire Emblem games. And, they, and the recent game has been has been skirting the line. If they go through with DEI, honestly, afraid of losing my favorite series. It's only a matter of time, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. Since we do have a celebrity here, he's going to have to leave because uh, I have to pay him <laughs> triple if he stays over the allotted amount of time. So Drunk 3PO needs yeah, to bounce. Yeah, I got I to gotta oh, bounce. Oh, man. So kind of a crazy busy he's day. A, he's, a, he's a big always deal. Always good to see you guys. Three days in a row on daily and Tuesday night's main event. Woo! Hell yeah! What a week! Yeah, and, if, geeks I, and, and, gamers, and if I don't I'm bring out. him on, if I don't bring him on, then he cries and he says, "Oh, you don't want me on." And then I bring him <laughs> on, he goes, "You got me on too much." Shout out to John Three PO. Shout out, good guy, uh, Jay. Right. Yeah, I mean, Vera, great. Uh, are you good? Just like you yeah, know, I don't want to. I'm okay. here. Don't worry. Right. Okay, let's awesome. go. Let's go. Uh, Conscious Shell for a ten dollars first super chat on this channel. It looks like appreciate you all countering the woke cult culture invasion. Keep up the great work. Thank you. Elson Barrett says Jay said six things. The holster. <laughs> uh, you've been working him to the bone. <laughs> Elson Barrett for a five dollars says, but Beardo, what if you're wrong? I'm hardly ever wrong. Uh, Blab the Tower Tard for $5. Yeah. For the John Morrow signing bonus, Beardo Severance Fund make reading great again. I like pickles and violence. Yay. Thanks, <laughs> Thanks Blabs. Blabs the Tower uh... Tard, everybody. Magnum Norse for 10. Beardo likes cripples. Uh, <laughs> the opposite. They frighten me. Um, C3 Pacheco for a $11. Let's talk chopsticks. Thank you. John Morrow for two. I'm a goddamn inspiration ass swipe. No, you're nothing. <laughs> you're nothing, John. This is such a such a weird kind of rivalry. I, know. I don't understand it. Well, he shouldn't have opened up his stupid fucking mouth and said I some dumb play shit. I want to Fortnite with us now. I, pff, John Morrow can't do nothing. He will probably dude. carry better than you. Ass. He'll probably carry better than you. <laughs> Doubt it. Um, Dark Side Droids for ten dollars. If Nintendo releases a Switch Two, they need to match the OLED Steam Deck. Uh, I own both and the OLED. Wait, I own both and the OLED Steam Deck with the TV dock. Blows it away. Minimum 1080p and at least 60 frames per second is industry standard. I think Mark the Cyborg would agree with you on that. Mark the Cyborg would absolutely agree, and he is in the yeah. chat. And uh, yeah, so he had said that that like Metroid Prime Two was Echoes and Three was Corruption, so that's what it was. So. Um, <laughs> So with me, like I don't, I don't play handheld at all. Like I, I, I'd never play handheld unless it's like, if I'm traveling, I, I guess I'll occasionally play handheld, but uh, I, it doesn't bother me with uh, that. But if you are a, you know, if you are an on the go gamer like that, then I can see how this is a big deal. I so. love handhelds and I don't go anywhere. So does that count? That, like, that does count. I like <laughs> playing Pokemon on handheld because. Like that's how all the OG old Pokemon games were on on Game Boy or the DS. So it have just you feels ever right. played a, an emulator of the older Pokemon games, but with the randomizer? No, I haven't. Oh but my I really god, want they're to. so good. Okay, so they're so good. Um, I, I I need a good um I need a good emulator website. 
I need to. I, I, oh, I, yeah, I don't know the first thing lighting. about emulating, so yeah. um, I need some it's suggestions. It's easy to do. Yeah. Mark is correct. He does have a uh, two-hour, a nearly two-hour-long video on Metroid franchise. It is phenomenal. So if you have not Sheesh. checked, it is really good. It's a damn good video. He does all of his research, breaks it down, well presented. And you know, Mark. Mark makes fantastic videos. Good dude. Good dude. Uh, Take her for two. Says Mario Kart is going woke. <laughs> Spider Claw for a $5. Sounds like a fit of jealousy there, fear the reading problem. He probably <laughs> reads better than you do, too. Calm down, young fellow. All right. Bro, what if what if John up. Morrow, what if I brought him in and he read, like, every super chat perfectly? Yeah, it, well, yeah, it's because he's using a fucking computer because he can't talk. Be like, golden nuggets for $10. I reported to the bully hunters. Like, the come on, man. Does anybody still, want to listen to that well, for four still, fucking hours? You could do that, too. Yeah, you're damn right I could do it, and I can speak normally. He can't. <laughs> Replace me with John Morrow. What a fucking joke. Like John Morrow is. The Golden Nuggets for a $10. I reported to the bully hunters, and the bully reported for bullying. In the end, everyone mm -hmm. reported everyone for bullying the bullies who turned bullies into those bullies. <laughs> then Jay farted. Wow. Dermy Wormy for a two. Beardo is, uh, is, a, is just jealous of the crippled guy. Not at all. Unlimited Look, power. Yeah. For uh, ten months, nice to see a woman on the panel. Change, changing things up, Jeremy. It's like yeah, Oscar Mayer me. up in here. I'm also, the inclusion numbers. I'm buffing mm. them. Hell yeah. Also, one nine nine. Hey, new guy. Is Jay happy? Tell Danny's gay. Thank you, uh, Skinny Cartman, <laughs> for the eight said. months recommitment. Hey, Beardo, can I get a shut the fuck up? <laughs> um, I'll think about it. Shadow Sand for a five dollars. I heard Mr. Morrow is a ten-time Pokemon champion. Doesn't exist. I smell jealousy here from the bearded one. Nah. Yes. Yeah. I, uh, it's a little. It's pretty obvious. Yeah. No, no. A little weird. He's got nothing that I want. Naaman's the retuber for a $5. Beardo, God sent me to tell you that butter dishes are peak tea. Bless you. I hey, thank you for the five. Stitch for a two. Stop, stop the butter dish hate. My cum smells for $2. <laughs> 200 pennies for Jay. Thank you, my cum smells. Uh, Thundarius for nine months. Butter dishes are popular in the Midwest with farm families. Keeps the butter spreadable versus being cold, hard stick like the one-up Beardo's ass over John. Damn. <laughs> Damn, that was good. Damn. I that thought we were good. cool, Thundarius. I thought we were cool. Esend for a $5. Butter dishes are great. Room temperature butter is so easy to spread on toast. It's Moose a lot of butter $2. talk. Yeah. Butter, butter. Butter, butter. Um, nom, 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 nom. Thank you, Moose. Now I want to know if they do have like a Trump butter dish or something like that, you know? Probably. You probably could buy one. Yeah. Probably could. Etched still, I still wouldn't get it because it's kind of gay, but still. Callum Lyle for $5. Bully hunters. How am I supposed to take the word of blue, pink-haired woman who can't get a boyfriend who probably identifies as a pencil seriously? Um, Elsa Barrett for twenty dollars. A word without a world without butter dishes is a butter dish topia. Thank you, Elsa Barrett. Dude, look at this right here. Look at this. Look at this headline. Trans identifying Euphoria star no longer interested in playing trans parts. I find it ultimately demeaning. What? Dude, they did it to their damn self. Oh, oh god! So like, you did it to I thought, yourself. I thought, like, I thought representation was important, right? And then, uh, uh, regular people can't play like gay ple uh, characters or trans people now. Now they're like, well, if you put a trans part, I just find it demeaning. Holy shit, dude! You can never make these people happy. There's Good always Lord. something that they are complaining about, or that they are upset about, or triggered by. That's amazing. I'll just say this, going back to John Morrow and Cripple Hate. <laughs> I do. I am, uh, you know, I, I, the occasional cripple I'm, I could be a fan of. Mark the Cyborg happens to be my favorite cripple. What about Ricky He's Berwick? He's a good dude. Who? Ricky Berwick? I don't really know him all that well. Bro, dude, Ricky Berwick is a legend. Yeah, he doesn't he follow me on Twitter, so I don't really give a fuck. He doesn't oh, follow man. me either, but he's awesome. Yeah, he doesn't follow me either. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's so he's, cool. He's cool. He's no, cool. he's more than cool. Ricky Berwick is amazing. Yeah, he's cool. He's not as cool as Mark. No, Mark's, Mark's Mark awesome. is a cooler cripple than Ricky. Let's just I like be John, though. John's pretty cool, too, though. Nah, he's a scumbag. Uh, Al Favre for a $5. That's exactly how a butter dish should look. If you have one... Um, you should have to squat on it like a fig to get out the butter. 
Damn. Uh, call me stupid for a five dollars. Uh, Sargon was laughed at for saying Trump should address Gamergate. Now DHS is pumping millions into equating gamers with terrorists. Who's laughing now? Yeah, I think I remember when Sargon said that, and uh, his point was that yeah, if it gets to that level, and uh, of course Trump. Look, obviously I'm a Trump supporter. Trump doesn't know shit about video games, all right? In fact, he knows negative about video games, and it's kind of cringe um, when he, uh, you know, like he's made the comments before. Uh, he, he fell into the whole bullshit about video games causing violence. Um, That's so which is ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Yes. I, and I, I made a video on it, and uh, the whole thing was like, um, I, I, my title was Trump just made the biggest mistake of his presidency. And then, of course, I had Trump supporters mad at me. But then also the people that hate Trump screenshotted my my video and they're like, this idiot thinks the biggest mistake Trump's ever made was a video game comment. All After all the racism and misogyny from Trump and the rape and the all of that, he thinks this is the biggest mistake. I'm like, everybody's mad about this one. That's what's up. So, yeah, it was yeah. it's nonsensical, though. Oh, yeah. Mag Ethereum for a five dollars. Jeremy, can you have memeology on a stream soon? Yeah, Memology is awesome. We've had him on FNT a few times. Uh, I think Memology has been on Geeks and Gamers a time or two, I think. It's been a while. Uh, Callum Lyle for another five. That Kotaku woman should go back to doing tricks under bridges. That probably is how she became an editor. <laughs> uh, hot dice for three months. If you spread cold butter out of your fridge over your toast, you're a knuckle, draggy, uh, you're a knuckle dragger. Get a butter dish. Thanks for the three months. Uh, St. Adam for 12 months. Cold butter is low class. I mean, you can Holy warm it up a little bit. This butter discussion has created a firestorm. Does, does everybody have butter on the mind? Yeah, though? man. The uh, Laura Lynn lands for a $5. Love you, Jay Bear. Smooches. I have a butter dish, too. You can't make everyone happy. <laughs> I like watching people play conservative games. Hail the one to nine and be blessed. Buttergate. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Disco Cobra for a 20. Beardo would just upset that a Chad wheelchair guy can pull the poon. You are <laughs> salty. Yeah. You can you never be salty. as legendary as that dude. What yeah. was his name again? Dan Legend. <laughs> Anima Chains. Anima Chains for a five. Beardo is right. Mar literally says in his pin post that he got hit by a car going 85 miles per hour. And in his bio, he says that he was born paralyzed. It's 100% bullshit. That's what I'm saying, dude. Stick with the fucking story, John Morrow. Your lies will catch up to you, piece of shit. <laughs> Jason Platten for a $5. Anyone else have the Helldivers 2 theme as their ringtone? It's on my gym playlist. It's so good. It's, it's so, so good. good. I'm begging people to give me a call that I hold off on answering the I, call. I personally believe, like, and I said this last night on main event, but I do think that like uh, the Helldivers theme will go down as like a legendary gaming theme. It like, is amazing. It, right up there with Halo. Really, yes, yes, 1,000%. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Um, Jason Platten for a five. Oh, no, I just read that one. Thank you, Jason. Retro Meister for a 10. Hail, Geeks and Gamers and Vara. I believe that Gamer Gamergate was an intentional social engineering project in order to prevent men and women from building that beautiful unity and to be filled with hate, bigotry, and ignorance. I don't know yeah. if Gamergate specifically was that, but overall, uh, everything you're seeing in society is designed to drive that wedge for sure. I mean, yeah. it just it is. I it's mean, it's sad. It really is. So I don't know specifically that, but it's the result of everything you're seeing around you um, from everything. I mean, they are trying to change the dynamic of people's relationships moving forward because, uh, you know, man and a woman and a family structure um, with all races, uh, you know, generally getting along and there's no racial tension. That's not a society that is beneficial to the, you know, the government and all of these uh, agencies. So they need division and they need the breakdown of family. They just do. Yeah. Ooh, the first trailer for the Bambi horror movie uh, just came out. What? Yeah. yeah. I may have to do a reaction to that one. Hmm. Uh, Tobias Nexus for a 10. The only Canadians I listen to about movies and games are Brandon uh, Tenold and Adam from Your Movie Suck. Also, why is it that all broadcasting companies that use only initials are biased as hell? I don't know. Pretty much it. 
John Goats for a five dollars. If you ever want to see some real clowns, check out Reser- uh, Re- Resetera. Uh, it's a forum with some out of this world takes, especially on the Stellar Blade thread. Gohan oh, for Reset a- Era. Uh, Do you not know what Reset Era? Reset, reset Era is yeah, reset insane. Era. Okay, Reset yeah. Era. Yeah, Reset Era is right. losing their minds. They right now. I just put the wrong pronunciation minds. on it. My bad. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We'll forgive you this time. No, we won't. Uh, but they've uh, <laughs> they, they've been losing their minds. Oh yeah, they have oh. been melting. Yes. I mean, they always do when it comes to attractive fictional female characters. They're usually actually where a lot of debates start on the way that female characters are portrayed mm-hmm. in video games. Yeah, it's bad. It's yeah. bad right now. Yeah. Gohan for a twenty. Also, all of this, uh, all of this is them trying to destroy the gaming industry on purpose because most of these people who are bitching are the ones that listen to the corrupt government and the propaganda and think they are trans. Um, you're not entirely wrong. No, mostly right. Uh, Ranavis, Ranavis for a five dollars for those fights. I'd go to Whataburger for food in an. Uh, for for the fights, I go to Whataburger for the food in and out. Yeah, uh, that's do, true. Do they, yeah. Uh, do they throw hands at Whataburger? A little bit, not as much as Waffle House, but they mm. do. Eduardo Cuevas for two dollars. RK representing. Uh, Rhett Gamer Bosifus. Bosifus. Why don't Rhett you? Gamer, just, when I can't pronounce, I just kind of talk through it and kind of mumble the part that I don't know how to read. Gamer and you just spend like so pacifist. much time on the word you I, can't I read. Want, I want to be polite and pronounce it correctly. while we're still correctly. here, 30 minutes over our, our time when we're supposed <laughs> to be here, because you just like bah, 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 bah. And we just always, I mean, hey, and listen, we have all these super chats because I'm here reading them. <laughs> For $5. What a burger. I am from Texas. I am biased. Yeah, that's what usually happens. Parker for 12 months is one nine nine. Spider Claw for $2. McDonald's? That's not fit for human consumption. Thank you, Jessica. I thought we were cool. Apparently not. Uh, Gohan for a $5. 9 out of 10 MMO female characters are males. Same goes with female players. 9 out of 10 male characters are female players. True. Thank you, Dan. Appreciate that. Thanks, Dan. Uh, Albert, not a retro for a $5. Ironic that you mentioned Zoe Quinn and in and out in the same stream. (laughs) I think that's her nickname amongst gaming journalists. Oh, no. Zoe Quinn. She has me blocked. She doesn't like me very much. (laughs) DB Wild for a $5. Hey, new guy. John Morrow says he's had more in and out than you. If you you know what he's rolling. Uh, If you know how he's rolling. Um, Sure. Jay Watt for $2. Beardo. Do you have an Irish wristwatch? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not. I'm not into that fucking degenerate shit. <laughs> um, Tobias Nexus for ten dollars. Best thing to come out of Animal Crossing was the weird time when New Horizons and Doom Eternal came out together, and we got the best yeah. pairing of the Doom Slayer hanging out with Isabel. That was hilarious. I love that. These Weebos for six months. Only gays like salad dressing on their burgers. Farrah needs to be a regular here. Been following her uh, since her super awkward days, and it's great to see her on the big stage. I mean, well, she's 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 here because you guys mentioned her a few times, and then you liked yeah. her so much, so we brought that her back. That means keep and harassing so, them, yes, and keep then harassing, I'll be back. Keep harassing. Yeah. So yeah. I told her that, too. I was like, I love I, her. she got a passionate audience. That's good. Yeah. Uh, I think passion's a good thing. I love my Beardo's audience. Passionate. They're great. Beardo's passionate about John Morrow. And, yeah. uh, you know, it's going to get him canceled, but that's <laughs> yeah. okay. That's right. <laughs> John Morrow's not even a real person. He's make believe. <laughs> we need to put you on the catfish show. Oh, shit. Uh, Jessica Lindstorm for 11 months. Uh, Vara, I am a toxic Animal Crossing player too. Although speaking yes! of toxic, I have questions about Crazy Red. Crazy Red. I don't know what that means. Uh, you fuck that bitch for a one nine nine. Light, <laughs> lightning flashes, spark, spark shower, blink. Jay, Albert, not a retro for a five. Regarding Bully Hunters two point oh, get the get the best first person shooters you know. Go online and have one of the G and G ladies call them, and when they show up, and then with a. A skull and crossbones emoji. <laughs> Thank you, Albert. Not a retro for a five dollars. Hey, hey uh, Vera, have you ever seen the? Um, so, have you played Mario Odyssey? 
Yes, I so, love Mario so, Odyssey. So, so you know, so you know the, the main song from Super Mario Odyssey. Yeah. And somebody took the Doom, uh, was it Doom Eternal, I believe? They took the Doom Eternal uh, trailer and they put a sizzle reel together with the overlay of the Mario song. Yes. It is so good. It, it is, is so oh, good. Oh, I love it so much. It's so freaking good. And it works. It just works. That music with Doom works yeah. perfectly. Doom, so. I really hope they do something good with Doom soon. I know, I know, Halo's dead, but I miss Halo. I miss mm. the Halo days. Yeah, I think we all do. We yeah. got so excited for Halo Infinite because it launched pretty well. I liked well. Halo Infinite. It, it wasn't bad. It, it just they kind of abandoned it and then never ended yep. up releasing any new maps or like the multiplayer seasons were complete trash. Uh, uh, Jessica says, uh, Vera, Crazy Red is the one who sells the fake art. I guess on, uh, is that Animal Crossing thing? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know so. uh, Alice in Blunderland, I haven't seen you in forever. Hey, don't. Good to see you here. Thank you Hi. so much for being here. It's good to see you. Um, she used to like follow all over on um, CobraCast in the early days of CobraCast. So good to see you here. Um, yeah, but Halo Infinite, man, we played the shit out of Halo Infinite uh, multiplayer for a while. And then it just yeah. they just screwed it up. I really so. loved the, the campaign. I thought that they really, I was worried. And there were things I didn't like about it, but I felt that they were so respectful with Cortana and Master Chief and how their story kind of wrapped up. And it was really, really good. Multiplayer, on the other hand, they completely abandoned, which was just heartbreaking mm. to me because I played for a couple of months after launch and I really enjoyed it. But when they're not releasing maps or they're not giving players updates, it just kind of kills the community. It kills the game, which is sad. Another yep. multiplayer game that's coming out soon that has been in early access is V Rising. I don't know if you guys are going to play that, but it's like a vampire survival game. Mm. It is awesome. I, during the beta, uh, stole all of the server's horses, and so nobody had a horse except me. Really? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I stole that's awesome. All the horses. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> and then they despawned, and I wanted to cry. Mm. Well, uh, before we continue, how much more do we have? Weirdo. Do we? Yeah. Well, are you, why, why the fuck are you waiting? Black what Girl Magic for, for $2. Black Girl Magic. And Demion. Thank you. Mac Fly for a $5. Zombie Unicorn is 200 plus pounds now. And an extremely woke they them. No wonder Beardo was in love. Considering his track record with Spider Woke 2. Noticing a trend here. Thank you, Mac Fly for the five. Uh, go on. I, and listen. Nobody's perfect. I said I could fix her. And we'll go to the gym. And she'll stop eating. Uh, I hope Hellgate Redemption brings back, uh, sorry, Gohan for a five. I hope Hellgate Redemption brings back this Templar ass. However, it may get wokeified, which I'm worried about. Um. Derek PG Beller for a 199. Check out Female Designs in Mortal Kombat 9. Nice. Uh, Elmer, Elmer for a $5. I know a lot of conservative Christians that dislike Celebrate. How is this labeled conservative? Thanks for covering this. Uh, again, it's uh, we kind of talked about it in the beginning how they just anything that uh, anything that has like unity around it, they just dismiss it as conservative, I guess, because they need they need some type of division. I mean, yep. this happens every time they they thrive on division. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, what uh, Top Gun Maverick was labeled a conservative film, right? <laughs> like, it was what? it was a great film and it had nothing to do with politics. Yeah, it's just insane. It really is. Uh, let's see. Bradley Scott for 12 months. Did I hear Jeremy say catching fish? Fishing video? Question mark. <laughs> uh, this, uh, I do want to go fishing in, in real life, but yeah, that's what I, that's what I do when I play Animal Crossing. I just, I go fishing. Crit Nature for a 10. I checked out a few female streamers who played the Stellar Blade, uh, Stellar Blade you demo. You keep saying braid. <laughs> do I really? Yeah. Uh, guess what? The first thing <laughs> they did was equipping the skin oh. armor. So I guess they're incel man babies too. Stellar Blade. Mm -hmm. Gohan for $2. Jeremy, you mean Metroid Prime 4? Yes, Metroid Prime 4. Yeah. Dio Brando for a $10. Mike the Cyborg bragged about... Did you say Mike the so Cyborg? No, I said Mark. You said Mike. No, you said Mike. We're, we're not going to do, we not gonna do I, this. We are not going to do this. We're not going to do this. I think we need a new we super chat reader. We are not going to do this. I you said Mark. You said Mike. You said, I said Mike. Mark. Put a poll. Put a Come poll. Come on. No, you that's bullshit. Right, that's right. bullshit. And I, no, I, I reject that. I reject <laughs> that completely. Well, we're I not going to do this. Yo, we're not we going to do this. I have, I have to, I have baseball to watch. I got to make a sports wars video. 
Yeah, Look, it's too. Chad. Epic <laughs> Mike, no, Mike, it was Mike. fucking Mark. There we go. No, There's a poll in the chat. Oh my There's a God. Poll. No, I did not. I'm going <laughs> to... Dio Brando for $10. Mike the Cyborg bragged about sp <laughs> spending two hours having sex with X-Ray Girl. What? It, it takes that long because Mark has one leg and he's boss and he's boss eyed so he can't see what he's doing. Ryan would agree. <sighs> Damn. Um, that's unfortunate for Mike. Uh, Jocelyn for 12 months. What's up? Excited for Stellar Blade. Those angry freaks never mentioned Asian female representation, did they? The hypocrisy. Hayden for a 10. They're trying to, uh, they're trying the alternate approach for Samus. On Easter, I saw several posts of the Troons playing to say that Samus, Ellie, obviously, Jill Valentine, and others are canonically trans. What the yes. fuck? Yes, there's been a lot of that out there from yeah. the, the weirdos. Yeah. Uh, Esen for a $5. I eagerly await the Daily Wire Stellar Blade review. If Shapiro can rap WAP, he can hold a controller. Hey, uh, Stellar Blade is still amazing. I played with the skin suit in the demo. It takes your shields away. It was a fantastic game. And it's so sad to see so many people trying to trash it just because they don't feel comfortable with the fact that she's showing skin and that she's just a bombshell. Yep. So stupid. Albert, not a retro for a $5. Uh, Allison Tiemann? Allison Tiemann? Tiemann? Uh, was was banned from the Calgary Expo due to an association to Gamergate. She's also an MRA and generally a good person. Well, wow. Shout out. Uh, call me stupid for a $2. Unicorn is a they-them beardo. Not into... Not into... Vag? Oh, not into vag, huh? Okay, I get it. Like, vagina. Okay. Uh, Chris Bolts for a $5. That Xbox One reveal presser is, is what killed Xbox. Don Matri uh, Don Matrick was fired shortly after that. Phil Spencer is finishing the system off with his nonsense. Crispy Noken for a five dollars. Let's talk retro gaming. When I get the when I get the chance, I'll show y'all my retro games from Saturn, Dreamcast, PlayStation One, PlayStation Two, and PlayStation Three. I started hunting since twenty twenty. I love retro gaming. Retro games are where it's at. That's right. Mark Tan for a ten dollars. Thoughts on thoughts on. Macross? Thoughts on Macross? Shooting sure. Insight or Transformers Devastation? Yo, Transformers uh, Devastation is freaking great. Yeah, Transformers Devastation was really good. That was, that was the, a really what, 2015 good. Platinum Games Transformers mm. title? Uh, Jeremy, I think the stream crashed. Uh, it uh. I did get a quick blip, but it should oh. be back. Mm, it just it's... stuttered. It stuttered. But it should be okay, fine. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, there was a quick stutter, and it happened oh. on my end too. But we should be good. Cool. Um, Hopefully, yeah. Blabs yeah. the tower tard for a five dollars. We're good. Uh, where was Esler Lady's dad nine months before Vera was born? I like pickles and violence. Yay. Yeah, back to Transformers Devastation though. Like that was a really good fucking game. Um, it was. It had a lot of the OG G one models yes. and characters, and yes. it was it was solid. But it was platinum game, so what do you expect? Mm -hmm. You know, that was pretty really good. good. Uh, Gohan for two dollars. He may not know games, but he knows propaganda. <clears throat> Thank you for the two. Albert, not a retro for ten dollars. John Morrow, John Morrow. We all love John Morrow. The cripple who's getting laid. John Morrow, John Morrow. He's the guy named John Morrow. The cripple who's getting laid. Uh, thank you for the ten dollars. Gohan for a ten. My favorites are Dragonborn from Skyrim and at <gasps> Doom's Gate from Doom. Skyrim. I love Skyrim. I have like ten copies of Skyrim right there. I have to like ten talk nice. copies of Skyrim. I'm sorry. I I can't help it. I'm I am the sole funder of Elder Scrolls Six. Well, you, it, it, there was a so we me and Dan Vask uh, and Tommy Tron did a show called do a show called Bragging Rights. We haven't done it in a while, but we collect all of our retro stuff for the month and we we you know kind of compare it in the audience. Oh, I've got judges. a so, lot of retro stuff. And so there was a, a Dan brought like Skyrim uh, in for for his retro game and Ryan <laughs> lost it. He goes, how oh, the no. fuck are you calling this no, retro, you Brazilian piece retro. of shit? No. Uh, <laughs> no, it was so not. funny. <laughs> it's not. Ministry of Wrong Thing for a five. Beardo was just jealous that a dude in a wheelchair gets more poon even though he doesn't even exist. <laughs> 
That's why I'm mad. <laughs> Suicidal cynic for a five dollars. I don't care about the dish. Just give me that butter unbreaded. Oh my people <laughs> and the butter. My goodness. Um, Russ, uh, Russ Williams for a nine months. I wouldn't say that you're what you're doing is reading, Beardo. Thank you. This is true. I, I'm just trying, man. Uh, so vet gamer Bo C Fuss. Okay, Bo C Fuss for five dollars says it's pronounced Bo C Fuss. Tribute to Hank Jr. Bo C Fuss, um, yeah, Hank Jr. Yeah, yeah Bo C Fuss. Okay, well, I didn't know. Did you hear Beardo try to say it? I didn't know what he was trying to say. You don't know who Bo C Fuss is? Fucking Californian. Been gaming, uh, been my gaming tag since 1999 when I played the original EverQuest. Allison Blunderland became a member. Thank you. Uh, Uber Jedi Sniper for a one month. Uh, you all should check out Sounds Like Pizza. He plays Helldivers by screaming like, uh, like R. Lee Ernie's a drill sergeant at everyone. Uh, Shadow saying for $5. Why is Beardo so scared of Mr. Morrow's magnificence? Is it because Mr. Morrow knows Lord of the Rings is a perfect trilogy, unlike someone? Lord it's of the true. Rings is a perfect trilogy. Yes. It Very is good. so Beardo good. said it's like a 9.3 out of 10. Oh, I know. Bullshit. It's insane. Oh, it's just, my God. I, I, I don't remember what official rating I gave it. It's just nothing Nothing can be a perfect 10. Yes, nothing it can. can. It and can, the Lord of the Rings is. is. No, I have it, it a does, massive Lord exist. of the Rings shelf up there exist. with everything. Lord of the Rings is, is yeah. goaded. Okay. Yes. Uh, Gohan for five dollars. Quake One remake is already in development. I hope to God I um ID software don't woke it up. A uh, toxic toxic masculinity for a five dollars. Don't forget about the weird Kotaku Animal Crossing butt plug story. Leave it here to Kotaku to sexualize animals, and it's sad to see Nintendo go the DEI route. It is. Yeah. And uh, uh, and honestly, and this is important. That, that that's why I want to. I do want to get a video out talking about it because. I, I watch a lot of N Nintendo channels, and I guarantee you none of them are going to cover it because they oh, don't yeah, no. cover this type of shit. Well, so. no, that's the problem is that they, they only want to cover things that are going to keep them in the mainstream industry's good yep. graces. And that is yep. what is so sad because there are some creators out there, I'm not going to name anyone, that are so informed on so many things. And clearly they know what is going on in the industry right now with like Gamergate 2, but they just don't want to discuss it because they are afraid on getting on these companies' bad sides. Yep. It's 1, like the niche gamer topic that we had talked about on Friday. Yeah. Yep. Uh, man of many mispronunciations for a two dollars. <laughs> Don't call it a comeback. Thank you. Junker for a one nine nine says nothing. Thank you. Mark Tan for a two dollars. It's Mike. Uh, thanks, Mike. Uh, Ali Mac for a five dollars. I rated every game extremely toxic and expressed my enjoyment of it all and added stupid pronouns to laugh at them. That's what you got to do, man. That's how you got to handle it. Golden Nuggets for a 10. Since being sick, I play Skyrim VR modded a lot. Modders are based. Yes, Vera. Okay, I like you now. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I've never played it in VR, though. Uh, Jeremy, what did you think or what did you think of the G.I. Joe games for NES? I'm assuming that's directed at me because uh, I'm a Joe fan, but uh, I liked both of them. Uh, those are the only really two decent G.I. Joe games uh, that I've ever played. I... Uh, you know, like there was the G.I. Joe movie game that came out on like PS3, I think, in 360 that wasn't very good. Obviously, you had the more recent G.I. Joe game uh, that came out a few years ago that I covered here on this channel. And developers reached out to me after I criticized the hell out of it. Uh, but it, yeah, the first one was the just the generic G.I. Joe game. And then the second one was the Atlantis Factor, I think. But I, I enjoyed both of those games. The, the first G.I. Joe game is expensive as hell. So if you Ooh. own it on NES, even if it's out of the box... You're sitting on something that's it's got it's sev several hundred bucks probably. Uh, if you have it in the box with the instruction manual, it's worth a lot. That first GI Joe game is very expensive. You know what game I'm so sad that I still don't have a copy of is Rule of Rose. I'm so sad. It's PS2. I'm so sad I don't have a copy of it. How much is that one it? going for now? Is it is one? like six hundred dollars. Yeah. <laughs> Let me check I, eBay I because scored, well the uh... thing is is it was banned for a while in a lot of places. And it is, oh, yeah, it is like, uh, yeah, it's like 600 Ooh. bucks, 700 bucks. That's crazy. Breaks my heart. 
I wonder if my retro store here has uh, has it. I'll have to check. They're under renovation right now, so that because they're expanding their store, but they have almost everything. So I'll have to check yeah, it out. Yeah, it's see. such a such an amazing game. You gonna power uh, through, Beardo? Oh, yep. Pre Don Corpse gifted a <laughs> one nine nine. Thank you. And Junker became a channel member. That's it. We're finally all caught We're up. We're caught up. Beardo nice. did a great job, Beardo. I don't, know who this, I don't know who this fucking Beardo guy is. Hey, a new, new guy. guy. Sorry, new guy. New, new guy. New guy. Here new guy. New guy. Uh, new guy. N Nagranal over on Rumble says another donation to the Fear the Rito emoji fund. Um, and then did you get? You didn't get uh, Rumble, right? I did not. I did okay, not so Orozco says Beardo and Mike secret lovers. Uh, I don't know what's going on with that, but you know, G and G doesn't discriminate, so we like the gays. So, um, what the hell are we doing? I'm just, I didn't, I didn't say I knew anything. I was just saying that we support you. Uh, we had over 400 people over on Rumble today as well. So again, great numbers over there, and nice. uh, oh, through 3,500 here. Uh, so, Joe C uh, for five says D Day Cobra, the High Tees and Vera Dark. Uh, sounds like a party. Cheers, y'all. That was it earlier is. on, and uh, appreciate that, Joe C. All right, Vera. Um, yes. You, I got bad news for you. Uh, you're going to be requested to come back more often by me. So uh, it is wait, what yeah, it she's, is. She's good peeps. So tell them where they can find you and what you have going on. And hopefully you guys go subscribe to her. So what you got going on? Yeah, my YouTube channel is called Vera Dark, Dark Titan Media. You can find me on Twitter. You can find me on Odyssey, BitChute. I have most forms of social media, also Instagram. Instagram and Twitter. And then, of course, YouTube are my main platforms. And I talk about, you know, uh, entertainment. I talk about movies, TV shows, Video games, obviously. I stream video games four times a week, and you can always catch me talking about whatever news pops up, localizers, uh, you know, bad movies, Disney losing hundreds of millions of dollars, all that fun stuff. Good stuff. Well, you were awesome again. Good to have you on. So, and Thank I hit her up you. late last night and I was like, hey, last second. Yeah, I was like 1 a.m. Yeah. I'm like, uh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah sure. let's do it. I was like, man, awesome. So, uh, all right, new guy, fear the, uh, uh, do we even, are we even doing <laughs> fear the beardo anymore? Or is it just new guy? Is that like, I'm not caught up on the lore. It's there's whatever way, you want. Dude, there's way too much GNG lore where even the guy that created it and runs it, I can't keep up with this shit anymore. Like, it's so much. <laughs> there's so much. Yeah. I haven't even said 199 today. Shout out to the 199. All right, Shout go out. ahead. Shout out. Uh, I said it guy. a few times. Uh, yeah, so. What are you asking me what I'm doing? Yeah, tell, like, tell them where the fuck they can find you. Uh, Fear the Beardo on all social media. They're all public. And I will be playing more Hell Divers 2 later tonight. And that's about it, man. Been watching some baseball. Got the baseball package. So that's been uh, that's been fun. Nice. That's about nice. it. Nice. So we got good peeps live right now. Uh, I know, obviously, my boy Gary Nerdrotic is live, and uh, I think Valiant Renegade is either going live or he's he's messaging me, asking me if I wanted to hop on, but I won't be able to hop on to to his uh, stream today. But yeah, so obviously there's good streams. Uh, Side scrollers is live as well, so there, there's a, a multiple choices out there. Make sure you subscribe to Vera Dark. Uh, make sure you subscribe to Fear the Beardo. Follow them on social media. Um, we appreciate it and uh, love you guys. Thank you for all the support have a great day and we will talk to all of you later bye everyone bye